Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is um, news about what I'm doing with my solar configuration. Yes, I am having work done on the house. I am having more solar panels added and I've still got this damn cold and uh, I'm sort of losing my voice as well. But uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a main thing to discuss with you all that uh, I've decided to go for more panels on the roof, not a storage battery. And since having solar panels installed in January of this year, which is only eight months ago now, um, I've absolutely loved having them. Um, the experience of going electric, going EV, and having solar panels has been absolutely fantastic. I would almost say I'm addicted, um, so much so that these panels that I'm installing, I don't see them as an investment that I have to get money back for, like the first ones. I don't see that I'm worried about a repayment period it's purely for fun, it's purely for my enjoyment, it's purely for the data, the numbers, being able to use less grid energy, it's just for the enjoyment of having more solar. And I know that sounds really, really weird, but life does feel better, life feels so much more in balance. Um, producing my own energy, putting it into the car, into the hot water, not having to use the grid, reducing my bills, being environmentally friendly, uh, being green, um, I'm not really into that I suppose, but it is nice to know that I'm doing the right thing because the right thing is right for everyone. It's not just right for me, it's not just right for my bank balance, it's right for the world, it's right for everything. Um, the national grid here in the UK is benefiting from me having solar panels, um, I'm benefiting. The only people that aren't really benefiting are the shareholders of the uh, utility companies because I'm not uh, buying electricity from them, not as much as I was anyway. So it's it's been um, a really enjoyable process um, installing solar panels, but the moment I'd done it, it didn't take many months before I realised that I should have gone for more. And although I chose a perfect configuration for the price and the benefit that I was getting, 3.9 uh, kilowatt peak performance, that really was the optimum for me. It was four and a half thousand pound installed and I got a, a really large benefit, benefit back from that. So the payback period was really, really small. What I've realized subsequently was there's such an enjoyment factor to it. I should have gone all out and had the right number of panels installed in the first place. But the company I used, Eon, the um, electric provider for me at the time, they installed the panels for me and let's just say their design service wasn't as good as the design service of Power Different, the uh, local company I'm using at the moment from Hethel near Wyndham in uh, Norfolk. Eon told me that uh, the 14 panels that I had installed was the most I could have on the roof. Um, they said there wasn't any more room and lo and behold Power Different have found space for eight more. I originally had um, asked Power Different to quote for four panels on my garage roof, the side roof. That's where I thought I was going to install 1.2 kilowatts extra. But I was also looking at installing a battery and the idea was buy the battery and the solar panels and benefit from the lower VAT before things changed and the prices went up. But the more I researched the batteries, the more it became clear that they are still so expensive. The benefit you get back from them is really, really small. You know, it's a 10 to 15 year or more payback period for the battery. And I'll explain the difference between adding more panels and the battery in a moment. But uh, the more I researched it, the more I just couldn't find a sweet spot of a battery with enough kilowatt hours that uh, was the right price for me. So I eventually concluded, sadly, that I would only go for the four extra panels. Then lo and behold, Christian from Power Different came back to me and said, you know, yep, we can do that for you. But um, instead of doing the battery, how about if we put um, four more panels up on your roof? We'll uh, actually put the scaffolding up and rearrange the panels you've already got on your roof and make room for four more and put four onto your garage at the same time as well. And we'll do that for um, a good price for you. So he was lo obviously looking at trying to increase the amount I was spending with him rather than just a smaller job of just four little panels. And he was also doing it because he knew I wanted more. I wanted more kilowatts. I wanted more benefit from the solar system. And uh, I really have enjoyed working with Christian because he's in tune with me. He's not just trying to sell me things. He knows what I want. We've had lots of chats about um, storage batteries and panels and how I utilize the power, those sort of things. And he's told me all about his solutions that he's got back at home. And he's trying to do his best for me. And uh, that I really, really like. 
So anyway, um, I decided, yes, I would go for the eight panels, four on the garage, four on the roof, with a bit of um, moving the panels around. I thought that was going to be a big job, taking panels off and putting them back on. But uh, lo and behold, for the experts, it's not, it's not that big a deal at all. So why? Why have I gone for extra panels, not the storage battery? And what it comes down to is this. If you look at one of my really good months this summer, 500 kilowatt hours of generated electricity, 30% of that roughly has gone back to the grid. So that's 150 kilowatt hours a month on a good summer month is what I'm sending back to the grid. So if I got a storage battery, that's what I'm looking to gain from. I'm looking to gain those 150 kilowatt hours and consume them in some way through the use of the battery. Now, whether I could consume them all or whether I would consume 60, 70, 80, 90% of that 150 kilowatt hours, I'm not sure. So I'd be spending five to 10,000 pounds to try to consume 150 kilowatt hours in the peak summer months. Well, if I install um, 2.4 kilowatts of solar panels on the roof, that will generate um, at least 50, if not 60% of what I'm generating already. So 50% of 500 kilowatt hours for a summer month is 250. We're talking 250 to 300 kilowatt hours of generated electricity extra that I can consume if, if it's available to me. So instead of the 150 that I've already got available trying to consume it, I'm generating another 250 to 300 and that's available for me to consume. So I worked out that even in a worst case scenario, it looks like I'll be able to consume the same amount of electricity, same amount of solar units, kilowatt hours, through adding more panels than I would be able to if I bought a battery. And yet the panels are cheaper. The panels um, are less than £4,000 to be installed. Um, I was going for a smaller 2 kilowatt inverter, um, a non-complicated basic one without any monitoring, etc. To keep the prices down. And for me, spending less money and gaining more kilowatt hours to consume just makes sense. So the order of doing things, you should always um, do things and spend your money where you get the most benefit and the most gain to start with. If you spend all your money on things that give you diminishing returns and diminishing benefits, then that just does, doesn't make sense, does it? So it was when I realized that the panels would provide me with more energy to use than the battery. It just made a lot of sense to put more panels on. And then when I've got more panels, I'll I'll presumably be exporting even more, which will give even more benefit for when a battery comes eventually. So it just seems to make sense. You know, it's like chicken and egg. Adding more panels to an optimum level makes more sense doing that than it does buying a battery now. Obviously, it depends for yourselves if you're thinking about doing these sort of things, whether you've got space for the uh, panels. But what I would say is, if you use the right people, then where you think you haven't got space they might be able to give you alternatives and ideas for how you can actually install panels and get more power onto your roofs. So for me, that seems to be the key that I've learned from this. Uh, more panels is better than adding a storage battery right now for me. So that's what I'm going ahead with. The panels themselves, they're JA Solar again. So at the moment on the roof, I've got JA Solar 280 watt panels. That was my original configuration. The new configuration is going to add JA Solar 300 watt panels. And what's been interesting from my perspective of looking at this is the price of the individual panel for a 300 watt panel is pretty much the same as what I paid back in January for a 280 watt panel. So within less than a year we've made not just a price decrease of solar in that it costs the same to get the panels but you get more kilowatts for the same amount of money. So if I quickly flick the camera around you can see what's actually going on well a little bit perhaps. So this is the scaffolding that's over the garage and that just above the garage there is where the panels were supposed to go but uh, the scaffolding went all the way up obviously to put the panels on the roof also. But here's an image that I've created that shows the uh, roof configuration before with the 3.9 kilowatt hour configuration and now with all of the panels on the roof, all 22, all 6.3 kilowatts of peak power. Uh, I love saying that. It's so much better than three, isn't it? Six. It's, it's brilliant. 
So they've gone on really, really well just by laying one row of four in uh, landscape rather than portrait. They've uh, all fitted on perfectly onto the roof. Configuration wise, um, you know, I've got a 3.6 kilowatt inverter on my existing array that's going uh, off for my fit payment. So that's not changing. There's a separate meter on that. It's a separate array. And from a 3.9 system, I've got a 3.6 kilowatt inverter. So a little bit of clipping at the top when it's a peak sunny day at the 3.6 level. On the new array, 2.4 kilowatts of peak power, but only a 2 kilowatt inverter. So yeah, I'm losing 20% of power at the peak, peak level. But supposedly, um, when you do that, when you configure the inverter to a lower level than the total power output of the panels, you actually get some optimization at the lower end. So you get more generation at the lower end, not just what you're missing out at the top end. Now, whether that really works out, or it feels like I'm losing 20%, but I'm promised that uh, it's not, is a lot less than that. It works out quite well. My alternative was to put another Solus 2.5 um, kilowatt inverter in for the 2.4 panels, not to have the benefit at the lower end, but have the benefit at the higher end. Um, but I've gone for Solar Edge. Um, the Solar Edge inverter is supposed to be better. It's supposed to be more efficient. Um, the interface is supposed to be better. The warranty's better. It's just a better quality item. So yeah, okay, Solus on one hand for one array, Solar Edge for my new array. We'll see how we get on. Worst case scenario is um, I'm unconvinced by the output and uh, it doesn't meet what I'm expecting and I could change the inverter at some other point. Maybe when I add some more panels actually on the garage roof because that was the first thing I said when the light bulb moment came and they said they could get all eight panels on the main roof. Would I like to go for that? Uh, my first thought was, well, can I have four more panels? And of course, I can and I could, but uh, I wouldn't be allowed to configure them because I'd already requested from the grid um, the two kilowatts. So I only had approval come through to install two kilowatts extra onto the output side, the total export capacity. So I'd have to make another application to the grid for um, adding more panels again. Who knows, um, next time I do something else, I would imagine I might well put some more on as well and then swap out that solar edge inverter for two kilowatt and put a bigger one on, maybe three. Anyway, more fun for the future, no doubt. Um, I'm going to get used to having uh, 5.6, 5.7 peak output coming through those two inverters. That's what I should get. It's going to be so much better for me um, on you know doing the cooking and heating the hot water, charging the car. Everything is going to be so much faster seeing a five number, a five point something instead of a two point something or a three point something. It's, uh, I, I can't wait, but lo and behold, we're about to have them all switched on and the sun's gone in and it's getting towards the end of the day now. So I've got to wait until tomorrow to see the real benefits. Annoying, but hey, and that's how it goes, isn't it? Anyway, a big thank you to Christian from Power Different. Uh, he has done an absolute stellar job, you know, the scaffolding going up, well, that's a separate scaffolding company, but it has been easy. It's been well organized. I haven't had to do anything towards that. And the whole process has just been enjoyable. There's been no issues, no complications. The people are great. The people in his team are absolutely fantastic too. So yeah, I definitely recommend Christian from Power Different. Give him a call, see whether he can help you. I'm not sure how far he covers in the country, but uh, a lot of these companies, they'll they'll travel quite a way for the right jobs and uh, depending on whether they can fit you in, etc. So give him a call, see what he says. Nothing can be lost, can it? I'll also leave his contact details for Power Different in the description of the video below, just in case you are interested in getting in contact with him. Why am I promoting him so much? Why am I saying so much? Am I being paid for this? Absolutely not. Um, I am not being paid anything. I'm not getting any particular benefit for doing these videos and mentioning them. I'm recommending them because I know there are people out there thinking about adding more panels, adding a battery and finding a good company. Someone that will do a really good job for you that you can trust is difficult. So that's why I'm recommending them for you because if, if I can help you by finding someone quickly that just does a good job, then that's really, really good, isn't it? And of course, well, it does him a favor as well, doesn't it? So I'm looking forward to doing a video on September's uh, update of numbers to see the comparable difference between the two arrays and how many more kilowatt hours I actually get generated. Yeah, it's really sad, isn't it? I'm just looking forward to counting numbers. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope uh, the update was good and uh, interesting for you. Please subscribe. Please like the video if you did enjoy. It does help with the algorithms to share with more people if uh, you click like. So uh, if you can, that would be great. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you again soon. Bye-bye.